this is Jerry uh, doing a collection video to show off some of the stuff I have. Um, also, thanks to the girlfriend Reese, who is recording this for me. Thank you very much, sweetie. Okay, so first we're going to start up here, which is going to be, this is all Dreamcast games. Um, just a couple of good ones to name off, Marvel's Capcom 2, Gradia 2, Shimu, D2, uh, you have things like Power Stone, which I actually found in a Goodwill and CD section. Um, sort of the Berserk. And then I also have some Japanese games, which I got um, from my fellow people at Racket Boy, who uh, hooked me up when I said I got a Japanese Dreamcast. So thank you, everyone, at Racket Boy. And if I remember correctly, uh, Mr. MJMJ, I think his name was, hooked me up with the Godzilla one. And then Flake Industries hooked me up with the Capcom versus SNK2. So. Thanks on that. And then you have all kinds of stuff. And I have like C-Man, which I also have the box for up here. Um, still have a sticker on it because I haven't tried to remove it yet. And over here we've got uh, what few PlayStation 1 games I have. Um, I actually just got... This was given to me uh, from my friend Jeff on Christmas. Because I love me some Blaster Master. And uh, I also have things like Final Doom because I'm a huge Doom fan. Metal Gear Solid, which I picked up uh, for three bucks. Castlevania Symphony of Night. Um, Final Fantasy VII Black Label, which I actually picked up at a flea market for a dollar. In pretty good condition. And Dino Crisis 2, because that was like one of my favorite games growing up. Uh, so those Dreamcast PS1 games. Next shelf we have down here. Those are some of my DS and 3DS games, because I got a 3DS. So I'm not really old school, but... Uh, it was worth mentioning Dragon Quest IX sealed because I picked them up from Best Buy for five bucks a piece from a sale they had. Once again, thanks to Racket Boy uh, community for uh, informing me of that sale. Over here, we've got some 32x games. Nothing uh, a really suit. There is a if I can, Knuckles Chaotix. I do have that one. So I've got a Game Genie here, and then I've got some Sega Genesis games. Um, not a lot of Sega Genesis games as for right here. I've got some more in box that are pretty good, but I do have like Fatal Fury, Comic Zone, uh, X-Men 2. Um, I've got Streets of Rage 2, because you have to have Streets of Rage 2. Sonic games, Streets of Rage 1, that good stuff. And right here we'll have, this goes to, um, this is a board for Jaws on the NES. <clears throat> Street Fighter 2 Japanese that I play with my uh, Famicom that I pulled the tabs out of. And then like a Virtual Boy game and a Game Gear game. Just kind of to have. Down here we have NES games. Um, a lot of your basic stuff. Um, but to talk about some of the few ones that are kind of special. To pull them out. Here I've got... Contra Force, which was given to me for my birthday by uh, Reese, who's recording this. So I was super excited about that one. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, Little Samson, which has one flaw, which is right there. There is a nick in it. But other than that, it's a really, really good-looking cart. It has a sticker on it that I'm going to remove. I'm just getting more information on how to remove stickers before I do it. So I do not uh, mess up the cart. I might have an expert do it. Mm. And I also have uh, Dragon Warrior 4, which is like hmm, 50 bucks normal. Sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more. So I've got that game also, as I do like the uh, Dragon Warrior games. <laughs> and then you just have regular ones: Castlevania games, Mega Man games, uh, Ninja Gaiden games, Deja Vu, Shadowgate. Uh, you know, the Bungie's Ambition, Maniac Mansion, Blaster Master, Ghosts and Goblins, Final Fantasy, all that good uh, stuff. Now we're going to go down one more row. Now we're getting uh, into Super Nintendo games, which um, I guess I have a few I sh show off. I keep them, my favorite ones in these bags, which are mostly RPGs. Super Mario and uh, Legend of Seven Stars. Secret of Mana. Which I actually traded some magic cards for, so that works out pretty well for me. Chrono Trigger. Final Fantasy 3 and Final Fantasy 2, with Final Fantasy 3 being my favorite game of all time. And 
Earthbound, which was also given to me by Reese uh, for my birthday with my Contra Force. So, probably best birthday present ever. So, excited about that. And then you have just like fighter games, um, more of like platformers, uh, some shoot 'em ups and beat 'em ups. Um, a lot of uh, strategy games right here, which the one I love the most Uncharted Waters New Horizons. Even though I always fucking die at the fucking hurricanes. Because I'm always caught in them. And these over here, these two stacks are like sports games and games I don't play as much. And then down here you've got some RPGs like uh, Act Razor 2, the uh, two Lufia games, Illusion of Gaia, Breath of Fire, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 3, which was probably the best romance game. Super Metroid, Mega Man X, uh, Turtles 4, Turtles Time, Zelda Link to the Past, and a uh, little uh, hidden gem, Demon's Crest, which is great. So you got all those. Um, now we go to like probably the shelf that never gets love. Um, all the way down here. Uh, it's probably going to be slightly harder to see, but... Uh, here we have some 64 games. 64 is like my least favorite system, so they don't get played all that much. Here we have some Atari games. Um, I've got, you know, Spider-Man, Burger Time, um, Warlords, E.T. You gotta have E.T. Um, all that good for Star Fox. Um, so I've played Star Fox on Atari, Star Fox on Super Nintendo, and Star Fox on 64. So you have all those. Um, over here are in television games. Uh, worth mentioning is, uh, you know, Smash of the Universe, uh, Power of He-Man, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, I've also got, like, Donkey Kong, uh, Beauty and the Beast, Frogger, I have, um, some Tron games in here, so I've got all those, and now we're going to, uh, the next shelf over here, this is more of my prized possession stuff. Here you have a lot of my boxed NES games from uh, Le Legend of Zelda twice, one's the like, kind of greatest hits version, Blaster Master, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Clash of Demon Head, Final Fantasy, Monster Party, uh, Dungeon Magic Bubble Bobble Part 2, which, uh, you know, everyone who knows about old video games know how rare that one is, My Lone Secret Castle, Yoshi, um, I'm really excited about having The Uninvited are uninvited, there's no the, but I'm really excited about having that one. I'm really excited about having Jaws, Bible Adventures, and uh, recently just got this one, Godzilla, because I'm a huge Godzilla fan. And I have a couple of the black box uh, release ones, uh, Hogan's Alley, Duck Hunt, uh, Mario, Super Mario Bros., and regular Mario Brothers. I've got Top Gun, which I will crash the plane every time because I hate Tom Cruise. And, uh, those are some of the other box games. And down here, we've got Doom for the 32X, um, which is pretty cool. Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy II, Mystic Quest, Sim Earth. Um, there's some other ones over here going down. And um, we'll uh, stop here and we'll do the rest in another video. Y'all, see you again soon.